This is a short tutorial on how to create a damage, health, and death and respawn in Unreal Engine. This is the default third-person template. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is go into the third-person character. This is just, just the default. And we're going to create a few variables. The first one is called dead, question mark. That needs to be a Boolean. Now we need to create two floats, one called health, and this needs to be a float. Another variable called max health, this needs to be a float. And then another one called respawn point, and we're going to set this to a vector. Okay, so first we're going to create a custom event, custom add custom event. I'm going to call this damage player and drag out from here and create a branch. I want to drag in is dead because we don't want to execute the code if the player is already dead. So we're going to put set health and for damage player we're going to set an input. I'm just going to call this damage. Make sure it's set to a float. And we're going to drag in health and do health minus damage. And then we put this in here. Now we're going to do another branch. And we're going to check if health is greater than zero. If it's false, then we're going to set dead to true. So that's it for the health. Now we're going to create a UI to test this, see if it works. I'm going to go to user interface, widget blueprint. Just going to call this UI. Now I'm going to drag in a progress bar. Over here on the right, you're going to set the border color to red, like a health bar. Now, if we head to where it says percent, I'm going to drop down bind and create a binding. So, from this one, we're going to drag out and cast to third person character. And for object wildcard, get player on. And for here, get health and get max health. And we're just going to do float divided by float. We can plug this in here. And that's it for the UI. In the third person template, we need to event begin play and create widget the widget that we just made, the UI, select that, and then drag out and do add to viewport. I will add it to the viewport. Okay, and let's see. We also need to set the max health to one and set the default health right here, set this to one. Now to test out this damage player, we're going to go into project settings, go into input, and we're going to create a new map. We're going to call it test button one. Type the number one. We can use this to test if our code works. Type test button one. And when this happens, we are going to drag in the damage player custom event, and I'm going to set the damage to 0 0.25, which will take away a quarter of the player's health. So now if we compile, save everything, head inside, we can see the health bar in the upper left, and if I press 1, it will take down a quarter, and 2, 3, 4, now he's set to dead. If I press 1, it won't do anything else, which is good. Okay, now the 
Next part, we'll be creating a respawn. You go into here, create a new Blueprint class, actor, I'm going to call it respawn point. Open this up, and first we're going to create a collision box, and then add an arrow. The arrow you want to make sure to drag above the box, high above the box. If the character respawns in the ground, they're going to get stuck in the ground. So the arrow needs to be pretty high. The arrow is where the player will respawn. So for the box, we're going to go here to the right to on component begin overlap. From other actor, drag out and cast to third person character. And from here, we're going to set respawn, the respawn point that we created. This is that variable that we created earlier. We're going to drag the arrow in here and get world location. Plug this in to the spawn point. Now we're going to drag this respawn point into our scene. I also want the box to be visible so that we can see when we overlap it. So inside of here, uncheck hidden in game. Compile, save, and we're done with that. Now we can head into here again, back in the third person blueprint, create another custom event. I call this respawn. Then we're going to drag this capsule component and set world location. Set world location. And we're going to set it to the respawn point. And make sure to check teleport. Now over here for after dead, we're going to drag out and put a delay. You can change that to whatever you want. And then after the delay, delay put respawn. And that should respawn the character. But this will only work if you have overlapped with the box. So now we're going to go in here. We're going to overlap the checkpoint. Then I'm going to go somewhere different. Hit the one key to damage, and I die, and I respawn over here. So everything works except for the health and death. So the problem with that is for a respawn, we need to set health to be equal to max health. And we need to set dead back to being false. Now if we try that again, go inside, we have to overlap the checkpoint box, and hit one, two, three, four, dead, and come back. I have full health. I can go over to here, one, two, three, four, dead. So that's a death, damage, respawn. Now, if you attempt to respawn before overlapping with the box, that's going to cause problems. Uh, but you'll have to come up with some type of code so that the player can't die before overlapping with the checkpoint. This should be it for a very simple 